Well, these aren't the ones we would have to have found them nonetheless. I think this lioness is part of what is called the marsh breakaways. Now, we're still working out the lion dynamics in this area. It is quite confusing. So you're going to have to bear with us until we're absolutely certain who's who. There you can see a second lioness fast asleep there. And then the third is a little bit further upstream in this little lugger or riverbed. It's very, very relaxed. Now, I'm fairly certain these are the three individuals that we were following on Sunday night into Monday they gave us a runner just before Earth Live started, which created a little bit of pandemonium for us. They disappeared into a thick forest to the north of here. And what I'd like to show you now, just so you've got an idea of kind of how the territories are working, or at least at this stage how they are working, is that these pri this, this pride of three lioness tend to spend time closer to the Mara River, which is behind us. And if we look straight out to about our 11 o'clock, Senzo, you will notice that, and zoom in there, then that's where our final control room and campers up on the top of that mountain over there. And it's in that valley just below there that the Angama Pride spend most of their time. So they don't come this far, but that is their kind of territory. I think we've only been seeing a smaller space portion of their territory due to the fact that they've got little cubs that they're sticking close to at the moment and then as Senzo zooms out bringing you further east this is where these ladies work out oh this one's popped her head up let's have a closer look at her and maybe we'll be able to work out if she's got any distinguishing features which she does I think it looks like her right ear has got some little notches in it. Yeah, there's quite a big notch in the middle of her right ear and that helps me to confirm that I'm fairly certain these are the three lioness that we followed and we believe them to be part of the Marsh Breakaway. Now the Marsh Pride is quite a well-known pride of lion but they ordinarily spend more time on the eastern side of the river in an area called the Marsh. And Exquisite Bliss I do agree that these lioness are posing regally. I think you were referring to not this individual because she was upside down a little bit earlier, but the other one who was certainly posing regally, but right now she has also gone back to sleep. Good prospects here though. These lioness are certainly not very full bellied. And even though they may be sleepy now, as the sun begins to set, their intentions are going to be Highly set on filling those bellies, I'm hoping. Good stuff. Well, we're not going to... Ooh. Pleasant surprise. Now, I wonder what's got her up. She's maybe just wanting to come a little bit closer to her pride members. They're incredibly social animals, these cats. But you can see she's not taking any chances. She doesn't want to give away their position, even though they've been asleep. She's wise in that she knows that quite a few animals could have stumbled upon them. So as she comes out of that low-lying area where she was concealed, she's just making sure she doesn't blow any easy opportunities. Clever lady. But there is nothing in front of her, so... she can calm down but that could change later and hopefully it will but for now we are going to be sending you across to James who has some birds